In 1976, the spotlight was very much on Dr. J as he entered the first dunk contest as a heavy favorite. Facing off against other ABA stars like Artis Gilmore, George Gervin, and David Thompson, Julius reached back for some of his vintage aerial gymnastics, including one of the most memorable dunks in contest history. Special situations, special occasions, um, uh, merited a little drama. You know, you don't have to think that long and that hard about it. You just do it. And that sends everyone really. And the winner, Julia Serving. When the NBA revived the contest in Denver in 1984, it inspired a host of creative jammers to try to match the doctor's artistic ingenuity. Oh, he's pumping his shoes up. Oh, there you go. <laughs> In 1992, unheralded Cedric Sabalos used this approach to gain instant notoriety. I really thought I was just going to have a good showing, do a couple of good dunks, you know, get a little TV exposure and, and watch somebody else win it. Sabalos, good bounce. Oh, oh yes. I'm surprised. Great move. Great, great. Just started getting a little bit more aggressive. The nervousness went away. And my points were getting pretty high and I, I snuck in each round. Stirring the crowd with his impressive array of jams, Sabalos made it all the way to the finals where he faced Charlotte Hornets star Larry Johnson. You know, uh, I, was, I was really satisfied. I was like, Phew, this is unbelievable. Nobody's going to believe I took second place in dunk contest. But Cedric had one more dunk left in his bag of tricks. I took my paces off and I called Dan Raleigh over to tie me up. Excitement, you can feel it brewing. And everybody got up. I'm not believing this. Blind, here comes Sabalos. Yes! Well, I was hoping it was going to go in, and then I thought, if it does go in, please don't let me bust my head running into the stands. I heard all these cheers and crowd and just going crazy. I was just in awe at the moment. The next year, the contest would move to Utah and find a new favorite in a six-foot-four-inch rookie guard. My pick is Harold Miner. Who's your pick, Larry? Harold Miner! Miner would not rely on a blindfold, but rather on his explosive leaping ability and thorough knowledge of dunk history. You know, growing up, I mean, I really enjoyed, you know, getting up and, you know, exciting the crowds, you know, with, you know, with my slam dunking. I kind of imitated everything that they did, from Michael to Doc, Connie Hawkins, Dominique, you know, all these guys, you know, these are my heroes. Miner would be challenged by a cast of intimidating veterans, but in the end, it would be the precocious rookie who would emerge victorious. I just went in there trying to focus on, on, on what I had to do, doing what came naturally and uh, getting up, you know, just getting loose and kind of feeding off the, uh, the adrenaline in the, in the crowd. But Miner would only hold the crown for four months when on draft day, another brash rookie staked a claim to it. If I get in a slam dunk contest, I guarantee I'm taking I'm telling everybody now. Okay, J.R. Ryder, things will be exciting in Minnesota. <laughs> and as J.R. Ryder entered the league, he seemed more than capable of backing up his boast. I know I'm going to win. You know, me just being able to jump the way I can and, you know, added emotion like that, good things might happen. So I still predict that I'll win. In Ryder's favor was the fact that the 1994 contest would be held in his hometown of Minneapolis. And from the start, it was clear that the crowd was behind him. Well, that brought the crowd to their feet. Now, they are prejudiced, but the all-stars on the sideline are not necessarily, and they, too, came to their feet. We've got one dunk down. The two that are down, counting this one now, however, have been the most spectacular. The show would belong to Ryder as he dazzled even the toughest critics. Oh, between his legs! How about it, Charles Barkley? What do you think? Oh my God! That might be the best dunk I ever seen. I've never—I don't know if I've ever seen a dunk like that before. That was awesome. Joining an illustrious line of champions. Ryder had managed to add his own personal footnote. When I was drafted, I bragged and said I was going to win it, and I backed up what I said. 
So, you know, I got to love myself for that. <laughs> the crowd has to love you too.